So during my professional development time, uh, I worked up at the Bunky Clinic in San Francisco. Uh, they're a center for microsurgery, and so they do, um, they get a lot of referrals for uh, traumatized limbs, especially finger replants, and so they do a lot of emergency surgery uh, for those purposes, having to repair fingers, um, using a microscope, including the nerves, the vessels, as well as uh, putting the bones and the tendons back together. Um, and they also do a lot of transgender surgery, um, so they work especially with um, female to male uh, patients uh, using microsurgery to use uh, either the radial forearm, um, which is this portion of the forearm here, uh, for phalloplasty, or a portion of the thigh uh, for those purposes. Um, and so I did, when I was choosing to do my clinical, or sorry, when I was choosing to do my professional development year, I wanted to do something that had more of a clinical aspect, and so I chose to work up there, was able to participate with those surgeries, um, I really enjoyed taking call, doing those types of cases, and also did some clinical research outcomes project um, with those patients. I knew that I was interested in, in hand and microsurgery, um, and the Bunky Clinic I had always heard was um, a great uh, a great place for that. Um, it's one of the and some it's often considered to be the founding place for microsurgery. Uh, the founder of the clinic, Harry Bunky, um, did some of the first free flaps ever, um, and also did the original investigations um, to allow for those types of surgeries. Um, so definitely had a big reputation in my mind. Um, and then one of our attendings here, Arash Momeni. Um, uh, discussed with me my plans for profession, my professional development year and referred me up to the clinic um, and then things just went from there. Um, I knew that I wanted to uh, maintain clinical activities during my professional development year um, and so that was a big reason for me uh, choosing to work at the Bunky Clinic and it was great. Um, they're great surgeons, great role models, um, not only just some of the most matchable surgeons I've worked with but they're also wonderful people. I wasn't entirely sure that I wanted to do hand surgery uh, before doing my professional development year, and getting that exposure really solidified for me that that's what I wanted to do with my career. Uh, so with the PD boot camp, um, it's regular meetings throughout your professional development year uh, where you meet with the other professional development residents, um, and it's run by um, the faculty in the Department of Surgery, and there's talks about how to focus on your research, how to make sure that you're productive, how to give a good research presentation. And I thought those resources are really valuable. Um, I think that uh, there's a lot of uh, fundamentals that you don't think about when you're doing um, clinical research. Um, that may not be so apparent when you're trying to do things on your own. So having that uh, guidance really helped me in terms of uh, focusing and being more efficient on uh, getting my projects done. I think that Stanford is just a great place to train. <laughs> and so I think, um, at least for in the plastic surgery division, for our professional development year, um, there's not any really restrictions on what um, you're supposed to do. Um, so there's some people that go into the lab. I believe I've had other people go into industry. I did this clinical fellowship. Um, and we also have a lot of international travel opportunities, including the lab fellowship with Dr. Chang um, uh, for the prof professional development residents to do. And so I think that if you have an idea of what you want to do for your, your year, something that's going to push along your career, um, the division will help make it happen.